hello everyone today in this video we are going to create our workspace and we are going to add multiple projects into our workspace in the previous video we learned that how we can share our live code with someone other developer without sharing our source code right so if you are not familiar with this one you can watch my previous video so i will add the link in the description so now let's close this one here i'm going to click on this file and after this i need to click on this open workspace so if you don't have any workspace so first you need to create the workspace and then you are able to open this workspace so there is option add folder to workspace so here i clicked on it and here i need to create the workspace so i'm creating this cdl right so let me go to the desktop and here i created this cdl I'm naming this CDL workspace, so it's more descriptive. Okay, CDL workspace, so let's click on this add. CDL workspace path does not, uh, okay. So I'm adding this uh, uh, without any directory. So why it's add folder to for CDL workspace path does not exist yet. Path. Okay, I need to first to create this folder manually. You can also do it from here like oh, let me create folder from here video workspace and then i'm going back here and here i need to choose that oh, where is the cdl workspace it's this one and then click on this add so this will be now added behaviors uh, behave as workspace so yes i trust it on it okay okay and yes now it's so uh, no, it's gave the untitled, right? Okay, so let me remove the first one, remove from the workspace. Employment app, I remove this. So now there is a CDL workspace, right? So I can add multiple projects into this CDL workspace. So how I can add the project? So let's click on, right click on it and uh, then add folder into workspace so i'm going to add uh, two laravel apps into this project so here i need to type uh, oops i need to type laravel apps my one button is uh, working automatically that's why it's behaving like this okay laravel apps and in the laravel apps i'm going to add this uh, guardian app let's add it so it's going to add this inside this workspace yes it's added right if I close uh, now it's uh, added this guardian system and now I'm going to add one more workspace uh, one more folder into workspace so let's right click on it add folder to workspace and here I'm going to choose one more uh, one more app okay what's the app so let me find the app first I'm going to add this employment app so click on this add so it's going to add these uh, two ones here right so now question comes that uh, let me hide this so now question comes that how we can open the terminal because there is one terminal so how we can open this for twice so if i go here and click on this terminal new terminal so it's now uh, displaying us three uh, uh, three options the first one is studio workspace guardian system and uh, employment app right so we can instantly if i want to uh, implement in the employment apps so let's click on this it will open the employment app console so you can enter the command here php artisan serve or you can php artisan migrate or whatever you want to execute so if you want to uh, now open this in the guardian app so let's click on this and click on this guardian so you can instantly go to this guardian app so it's totally upon you if you want to search any file like a web dot php file right so it's uh, telling the name uh, employment app it's also telling the guardian system so you can if you want to go to the guardian system so let's click on this guardian and you are in the guardian system so that's pretty simple so hope you understand the full purpose of this uh, workspace and uh, you are able to add these projects into the workspace so if you are if you are interested to learn more about the laravel 
let's subscribe the youtube channel i am posting the videos on the laravel daily basis and i have also this community tab where i'm shooting the different uh, uh, tips and tricks about the laravel so you can check this uh, check these tips so, so there is uh, much more things so you can also check the playlist and stuff like that so subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for more upcoming updates so i will meet you in the next one bye bye